wonder why I do things so different. A lot of times when someone does that, it's just because they don't want to do what everybody else does and they just want something new and novel to sell. That's not my purpose, believe me. Now, granted, it's new and different, but it's really not. It's the way, actually, I went back and tried to understand how dogs made decisions rather than what made sense to humans. And there's the big problem is too many people don't really want to understand. They think that somehow dogs are no longer dogs and they're entertainment or their little games, or their little fun. When they get disillusioned by the, by the dog not respecting them, then, you know, all's bad. Okay. Now, I'm, a, I'm the owner of a litter of puppies. I have three. Each one's equal. Each one's equal. Okay, so you just want a pet, right? Okay. All right. You just want a nice pet. You want to be able to do some things with it, but, okay? And you want this show dog. Okay, so yours is the puppy without any flaws. For It's got a fold in it, but, you know, you, you've got the puppy that's kind of the pick. Um, this one's a little wrinkled, and this one's got just a little bit of a tear in it. But they're all equal. They're all from the same litter. They're all equally valued, aren't they? Okay. Now, yours is just handled on a pedestal. Cool. Yours is, a, you know, you can do things with it. Oh, wait a minute. Have you got the one? Oh, no. Yours has got a little tear in it, so you feel really sorry for that dog, okay? You, you really, you know, the puppy's got, um, what has he got? Uh, bad bite, okay. He's got a little bit of a bad bite, and you know he can't chew as good as every other dog. Okay, you've got a dog that is just a valued pet, a companion, okay? So, all three of these, oh, absolutely. <laughs> all three of these women came to get one of my puppies. And, you know, I'm really proud of them because they're all valuable puppies, aren't they? Cool. All right. Now, she just maintains this. Okay, and all she does is holds it above everybody and shows everybody how wonderful this is. Okay. <laughs> You're going to, I mean, yours kind of gets crumpled, doesn't it? Okay, okay so you're going to crumple it. I know. And because, you, oh no, no, crumple. All right. And because you really are fairly indulgent, you just do that. Okay, because you're a dog lover, okay, yours gets a little rip in it. Yeah, Okay. It gets crumpled. Now, she doesn't put demands on it. She just lets it do what it wants to do, right? So then it gets crumpled really good. Then it gets dropped on the floor. And then it gets stomped on. Okay. All right. So then, it gets in some dirt, doesn't it? Oh. It's in garbage. Ew. <laughs> okay. So now she's got a dog she doesn't like. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's ketchup. <laughs> All right. So she's got a dog that's totally worthless because that's all it does. She's got a dog that's totally worthless, and she's got a dog that's totally worthless. Except, they're still $20 bills. All right. Now, would we say 
if Petraea brought the darn thing off the pedestal, well, not dropped it, <laughs> although that's what happens, it's exactly what happens. So when the, when the thing gets a crink in it, ew, we just get rid of it. Pass it on to somebody. Lots of breeders do that. And then that $20 bill doesn't know what to do because now it's got to work for a living. Okay. Tracy here, she's got this $20 bill. Hasn't injured it, has she? Crumpled it up a little bit and kept it close. If that $20 bill gets dropped, be easily overlooked, wouldn't it? Now, in the case of rescue, this could be picked back up. Okay, go ahead. It's got a few kinks in, a few crumples. But it's not so bad that she couldn't smooth it out a little bit. This one needs a couple crinkles because it's useless the way it is. It wouldn't even fold in a billfold. So any change to this is going to ruin that picture, isn't it? Kathy, on the other hand... She's got something she no longer values. Now instead of having it around her house, now she's pushing it away. Now when company comes, they don't want nothing to do with it. If you let it jump all over Tracy, it's going to, she's going to get ketchup all over her. She wouldn't like that. So what happens to this? Throw it. That's exactly what would happen to it. Even though it's got value, Even though it's still a $20 bill, it's just crumpled, torn, and nasty. That's where rescue comes in. Now, if Carolyn picks this up, and we give her a paper towel, okay, she can wipe off the outside edges, don't on one day. Okay, she can wipe off some of the garbage, and then she can keep it just like that. It's going to mess up her pocket. It's not really able to be used anywhere. It's really kind of yucky. But she keeps it. It'd sit on her dresser. Nobody'd steal it. It's pretty gross. So in talking about rehabilitation, oh, you're actually rehabilitating it. Oh, no. Right? I'm working on it. You are rehabilitating it. You are getting the garbage off from it, getting rid of the baggage. You're probably going to need more than one paper towel, wouldn't you think? Yeah. It's going to take some time. Because that baby's in bad shape. It didn't get this way overnight. No. Okay, you might have to stretch it out. And it's not comfortable because it's been all crumpled up since Kathy got it. It stayed all crumpled up. Oh, it's uncomfortable to stretch it out, to smooth out those wrinkles. It takes a while, doesn't it? It does. And it's still got a few wrinkles in it, doesn't it? It does. But you got rid of most of the garbage. Yep. Okay. Now you would kind of iron it out. Right. It's true. It's exactly what happens in rehabilitation. Okay. I want it back. <laughs> yeah, you want it back. Okay, give it back to her. Okay, give it back to her. She wants it back. Okay, and then she crumples it again. Huh. Kind of looks the same, doesn't it? So what good did her tra did Carolyn's training do? If nothing gets ba back to being junk again. Only this time, the wrinkles in it are tighter. They're tighter because it's been reinforced that this is normal. Carolyn picks up the dog again. Ooh.
All right, Carolyn's working on that. All right, you still got that baby up there. Okay, you hand that to Kathy. Now, you give her a new dog because that other one's so ugly, you know. Oh, no, you're up here. Is that the way you want to have that dollar bill? Ten or twenty dollars? Well, she's going to bring it down and crumple it again, isn't she? Go ahead. Well, my good dog. So now the most beautiful of the twenty dollar bills is all crumpled up just like the other one. Now, you know very well that thing gets into some garbage and into some dirt. Okay, go ahead. This is just what happens. Come on, do your darndest. Oh, my beautiful $20 bill. What's well, got garbage on that one, too? What in the heck is going on? Okay, throw that down, because you sure don't want that one. Darn it. These people that sell these dogs that are faulty. Okay, now you're gonna you're gonna adopt this one now. It's been raised in a home and it's been valued. It's still crumpled though. Okay, we still got some crumples. Okay, now not so many that it's useless, but okay. Okay, Carolyn. Almost done. All right, because you got another one to work on. There you go. Okay. Oh, now she's got another one to work on. Now she's got two. This is the way it goes. Believe me. Now, the only thing that's going to change is if we stop Kathy from getting them all full of garbage. If we stop Katria from raising them up here, and if we stop Tracy from not doing anything. The only possible way to be successful... Carolyn, oh, now you're going to do that again to this one. Come on. I forgot. Kathy's at it again. Don't do so much, Kathy. <laughs> I need more to now you're going to throw that one away quicker because... You know, um, this isn't fun anymore at all. You're going to get a cat. Okay. <laughs> no, serious. Okay, throw it on the floor. You don't want that thing either. Because every dog you get, these breeders, these people, these rescue, these, these, these. The only one who's ending up being successful is the person that's willing to take the wrinkles out. Now, the neat thing about this is there's a church in the area, and the pastor does talks on, on TV. I thought this was, it was, it was different. He only used a $1 bill, so that's, you know, these are 20. Okay. But it, the purpose of it was to show that Every one of them has value. Now, you probably wouldn't frame them that were all crumpled up. You probably wouldn't stick them in a Christmas card to give to a little child. You probably wouldn't, um, you know, it wouldn't be the one, if it was a really valued um, collector type $20 bill, you would not use it. You would keep it on a pedestal. But at that point, it becomes useless, except for the fact it's in this frame. The only way to be successful is to maintain the value of what that $20 bill was meant to be. It's not a $1,000 bill. It's not the end-all of end-alls. As a show dog, it's going to retire. As a pet, it can't be put above everything else in your life. It's got to be functional. And you have to use it correctly, or you have nothing. Nothing. If it's not maintained and used correctly, there is nothing. 
You're not happy. Certainly the $20 bill isn't happy. Carolyn's thrilled to death. But then, now this is where it differs from dogs. I would say, what do you do when you end up with all these rescue dogs, but we're talking $20 bills? Now, if you keep giving Carolyn $20 bills, she's going to be tickled. She's willing to wipe them off. She's willing to straighten them out. She's willing to make them fit into her, her billfold. And she's got $60. Poor you guys. Nothing. Now, to me, that was a really cool lesson. It was different, but we have to remember everyone started out as a simple, innocent, joyful puppy. It's what we do with them that either keeps their value, increases their value, or makes them worthless. You can't keep worthless. Worthless is not fun to live with. A dog that's more special than any person in the family is not fun to live with. Only when that animal has all the wrinkles and bumps and garbage taken off you got hints of it. You're never going to get it whole. It's never going to be totally without. But it's usable. It's manageable. And it, I mean, it's useful. So I hope that kind of explains my passion when we start talking about these, these dogs. We have choices when we get a puppy just exactly like we just did with the, with the $20 bills. Now, my feeling about rescue, and I apologize because I've been going to redo this. It's not done yet. I have other things. Priorities, you know. It says the right thing now. Puppy is born. Failure down here would be, you know, really ill or, or death. Goes to its first home. It's so easy to succeed. This is the puppy's life. Moves on to the next home. A little more red. Easier to fail. Each one of these homes, the dog can fail easier than the one before. <laughs> By the time they get to this home, they will automatically either bite do something ugly because they want to know if you're worth investing the time in. Move down to the next one. You're just sure to fail. Dog's kind of shutting down. Here, the dog's just totally given up. People are irritating. It doesn't trust anybody. And the one beyond that is not good. <coughs> Although it's positive for the dog because the dog has given up hope. It's exactly how people end up too. So if what we do is pass it on rather than deal with it, unless there's intervention, you're in trouble. I look at dogs when I rescue. They've got five placements in there, you know, that are possible. After that, you might as well hang it up. Unless there's consistency. So when you figure the puppy goes to a new home, the new home passes it on, that home passes it on, one more. They quit trying. Now after about five owners like Kathy, that $20 bill would not look very good. It would be crumpled beyond, it would rip, it would, it would be um, pretty ugly. She could take that to the bank, trade it in. You can't do that with a dog. You can't do that with a dog. So, I hope this kind of explains some of the reasons people... <laughs> People label me as not very nice. 
I'm not very nice to people who don't take that serious. I'm very good to people who really take their responsibility serious and really try. Now we have dogs of all those types in this room today. So if you guys want to go, you can... I want my money back, though. <laughs> okay, here's a bucket. <laughs> okay. Buddy is a rescue dog. Which one of those situations do you identify with, Colleen? Uh, probably the second one. Right. Because in the beginning, you complained about some of his behaviors, but you really didn't want to do a lot because he was a rescue dog right. to change it. It's only when you've started to step up and insist. Yep. What do you consider yourself, Nancy, with Cooper? Well, Cooper actually is a rescue, too, because he had one home before. Well, I mean, yeah. I officially. Mean his second home. Right. Right. Because I got him when he was a puppy. Okay, so as the rescuer, which is exactly right, okay, which person do you identify with in that group? Probably the second one. No! Carolyn! Oh, you the, took the all rescue, the things the rescue, he the did and you fixed yeah, them! Yeah, absolutely. Okay, you did it with instruction. Yeah. But when you see the relationship with his dog, okay? Yeah. And I brought you along kicking and screaming sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And there were glitches and there was difficulties when you broke your elbow. So you're identifying her with her? Yeah. yeah. We don't need to switch back and forth. I mean, people watching that thing know very well which one was the rescuer, which one was the one that did what they need to do. I mean, the switching around is distracting. Because of that, you have the dog that doesn't have a lot of wrinkles in him, does he? Okay. He is free to behave no matter what happened. So you've raised him to be independent and able to adapt even if you had to place him in a new home. If the person was educated, correct? Okay. Okay, Julie. Which one do you identify with? Huh? So lady. <laughs> no. 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 You're working to get him to have a show attitude. It's the second one. You are trying to protect him from everything. Yes, I do. <laughs> He's got to get a kick in the butt and get it. I mean, not literally a kick in the butt, but he, that's what I keep doing to you, forcing you out of your comfort zone. And he's doing great. Still working on you. Should put that pinch collar on you. Okay, Trace. Which one do you identify with? I think Carolyn. You are working at it. You're not capable of dealing with the big wrinkles. Right. You're not <laughs> capable yet of really those big challenges. So Eric is a challenge. You're doing it right. But you can see that if it were a nasty greater Swiss mountain dog that was challenging you, you're not ready for the big wrinkles. But you are doing a wonderful job. I mean, you, you know... If I had every one of these dogs, I could take them and they'd be fine. But they wouldn't do you any good. So unless you prevent the wrinkles from getting put back in there, and he didn't, I mean, he was a blank slate, then my instruction does, or my handling does no good at all. Unless you go home and do it, the hand, it's just handing him back to someone who does it. In your case, it's actually not all that bad. Because you're doing the socializing... You don't want him all goofy and showy. So you're, pre you're preparing him for a handler who does want that. That's cool. It's the socialization, just like Eric, that's important. Over here, we have, well, here's my friend Evelyn. Evelyn's going to help me with this. And over here, we have Bach. Bach is a dog that came from Lynn McCain in Michigan when he was a puppy. He actually is a service dog. He's a wonderful, wonderful ambassador for the Lakeland breed. He's a, he's a cool little dog. Now over here, 
Her name was Bonnie. Her name is now Clara. And in a couple of weeks, Clara is going to move into a home with two boys. Nice boys. Very respectful, very nice boys. Now, Clara is quite possibly, dad works in a rehabilitation center in Iowa. So Clara very easily could become much like Baki. So I'm letting the two of them spend time together because when she's with people, a group of people, I want to take that wrinkle out that she's nothing but silly and happy to see everybody. Because we need a dog. If we identify that our goal is to be able to take this dog anywhere, then anywhere is where she needs to go. And that means calm when she goes anywhere. Not go be silly. Not play constantly. And she's going to live with two boys, a nice mom and a nice dad. Wouldn't we think that she has to be calm when kids are around? Well, yeah. Not all the time. They're going to play with her, too. But would you go sit right down on the floor there with her and pet her? Would you do that, please? Tell her, easy. Easy, Clara. Because the boys would like to have a reading dog. The boys would like to have a companion that would help them do their homework. The boys would like to have a dog that likes to play, but also sits there while they have to do their homework. Easy, Clara. Okay, is she playing nice? Then move away from her, honey. We only play with nice dogs, right? Oh. Now, when she calms down, you can pet her again. Now, they wanted, I mean, they hadn't really made up their mind, so there was two of them they were talking between. Which, by the way, this puppy was not raised here. This puppy came from Lynn two weeks ago. She's a blank slate. She's five months old, and all she needs is an education. All right, is she being rude? You be easy, Clara. Okay, now you can pet her. Easy, Clara. Good job, Clara. Good job. There we go. Easy. So she had a couple wrinkles in her. Lynn had um, two litters at the same time, and it was chaos. She works a busy job. But this puppy needs education. So even if Lynn wasn't able to take her through kindergarten, she needs it before she can move on. Easy. Take a hold of that chain, honey. Okay, pull it. You be easy, Clara. There. Good, Clara. Oh, look at Tell her she's good. There. This dog is going to stay two weeks. This is what's going to happen. When she goes, they're going to say, Wow, Lynn raises the most awesome dogs in the world. But it's not the dog. It's what you do with it. Simple now as that. Skip those two for right now. Which one do you identify with, Kathy? I'll do what I did because i got to add the Lauren to step up. Yep. But you needed the instruction. Yeah. So you had been, you had gone to, th what, three other trainers or four other trainers? Okay. And you weren't given the right information. So if you don't know what to do, you can't help but fail. So you keep looking, and that's what you do. So you keep looking for someone who can get those wrinkles out of there. That's the way it works. Okay, Petraea, which one are you? I uh, started as the Kathy Crump. Yes, you did. But I am definitely Carolyn the Rescuer, mm -hmm. and I spend my money everywhere. Yep. Yep. Anywhere, everywhere. Yep. 
very valued and it can do all kinds of things. I can buy gumballs, right. I can buy cake, I can buy cookies, right. I can buy everything. That's right. That's right. And, I mean, that's education. That's all that is. It's not that you were stupid, you just no. didn't know what to do. I just do. didn't know what to do. Once that's I learned right. the steps and the process and the rules and the expectations. You got what you needed. I got what I needed and now my money's good everywhere. That's right. Now you're just in the beginning process. We're, yes, we're just yeah. starting yeah. out. Yeah, you just had a private lesson. This is like it's our first class. First class. Okay, this is kind of a shock. Okay, but can you identify with that? You went and got a puppy with wrinkles and that's why you came to class is because you didn't know what to do with the wrinkles. Correct. We and that's why you're here. Wait till them out. Exactly. Okay? No problem. We're trying. And good for you. And good for you. Five percent of the people are absolutely happy and continue doing what they're doing. Twenty percent realize they've made mistakes and they come and they keep they keep trying to get better. And then there's the five percent. And that's right. Because when she left, just like when you left, the dog was doing good. It's that maintenance that's so difficult and good for you. All right, Kathy. Well, I got her as a puppy. Yeah. But she has some wrinkles. Yeah. So that's why I'm here. Yeah. So you're forgiving her those, kind of like Tracy did. Right. You're kind of forgiving nonsense because of her wrinkles. Right. Nope. She's still, in her mind, a normal, active golden retriever. You have to condition her not to go out and play football with the big boys because it's going to hurt her. Right? Correct. Right. Okay, Ruby, which one do you identify with? A little up on the pedestal. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh, I love it that she admitted that. I put my own wrinkles in. That's right. And she likes it. And for that reason, a lot of other people have a little problem because they don't have the same wrinkles. They don't want the same wrinkles as Ruby. That's exactly right. Nothing wrong with that if they live with you. It's wrong if they live with somebody else. I have to be careful with yes, the, you the do. puppies. I have new ones, and i got to not put wrinkles in them. But, but when Guinness slash Brew was here, yeah. you had to raise him so that when he was here, he was Guinness, and he was a pain in the neck. When he went home to Janet, he was Brew, and he was well-behaved and polite. One of the few dogs in the world that has a split personality that worked to the good. It was two different normals. Two different dogs. That's so funny. And that's because Pat was so irritating and made Ruby behave herself. <laughs> I had a very upbeat, fun to work dog, and Janet has a very nice, well behaved. Well -behaved. Who goes into other people's homes and anyway, does come get him and yeah. Okay, Kat, what do you what do you identify with? Probably Tracy. Second. Yeah. Yeah. And. I'm trying to get you to become more of Carolyn. And the problem with, you know, with an accepting, calm dog is that they fool you into thinking that that's okay. But they actually hinder you sometimes when you really want to accomplish something. Z is going to be a lot of fun for you to make that transition. Because Z likes to do stuff. Kathy's having a very hard time going from um, just being her buddy to making her work. And it's not Z that has the hard time. It's Kathy. But unless Kathy does it correctly, Z's going to embarrass the heck out of her. So I'm not going to have to nag at her. Z will. You can do all the correct things. You know. That's right. But... It's a beautiful thing, okay? Mm -hmm.